Hey everyone, this is Dean and today I've got the Sarui ET2204 tripod. We're going to give it a strip and clean. Now this is a flip lock leg type and these cop a little bit more with the weather because they're a little bit more exposed compared to say the waterproof series which has the screw type locks. So if you don't keep your maintenance up on these, you are at some stage, you're going to have to give it a complete strip and clean. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it's all done. Now before we strip this down, I'm going to pull this pin out here. If, if you're happy with the tension and everything on here, then you can just leave it. You don't have to pull it apart. But um, I'm going to pull it apart just to show you how it comes apart and how to reassemble and how to re-grease it. So to pull this whole leg apart, all you need is two Allen keys for here. And then you need to find the Allen key that fits in these ones down on the flip locks. So I'm going to start off by just undoing this pivot pin here. So this consists of two screws, four washers, and a pin. So just be careful when you pull it apart, you don't lose the washers. Get yourself a container. Okay, so there's our two screws. Just use the Allen key to push the pin out. And there's one washer on the end there. Now there's actually two different types of washers. So this one here, I don't know whether you can see it in the video, but there's a flat, there's a flat on the end of here and in the washer. So two of them are gonna have this flat section on the inside. So when you put it back together, I'll go through that with you, but you just need to make sure you've got the right washers. And so there's another washer there. And we've got that one. And then there'll be two washers in here. Okay, so that's all out. Um, we're now ready to strip this leg. Right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to strip this leg. So on these flip locks, there's a locating bolt here, and then the lower one, the one at the bottom, is actually part of the flip lock. So we want to just undo the top ones. So we just undo it, we'll take it all the way out. Take it out because I want to give it like a really thorough clean. So once that comes out, so then the leg will actually come off. So that will come off the next section. Just carefully pull it out. And there's going to be a plastic sleeve in the end there. You just keep him and undo your leg lock and then that will come off there. So just repeat that for the other sections of the leg and then we'll give it all a clean. Now when you take these sleeves off here, you need to just um, prise them out, just, just spread them out this way because they locate on these little holes here. So you can't pull them straight off, you gotta spread it to get it off. Okay, so that's the leg completely stripped into its sections, ready for cleaning. Now, just have a look and see how yours are. If there's a lot of corrosion and stuff in here, then I'd suggest you probably completely strip these to clean them. So I'll just quickly run through and show you how they come apart. So we've taken the main bolt out. There's um, a couple of springs in here and there's a plastic sleeve in here as well. So plastic sleeve we just pop out you'll see it splits it's a little bit sort of fiddly but so he comes out and we'll just take the the flip lock off so you just undo that down here it'll come off so that little nut's just fallen out so that goes in the back there we can go in our container to be washed. And if you want to completely strip this right down, just pull a little bolt out and there's the little pivot, pivot piece in there that can come out as well. 
And then you've got the two springs. Now they just sit there, so I just found a screwdriver. Just be very careful that they don't flick everywhere. You can take your springs out because you get a bit of corrosion sit in underneath there. So as I say, if it is bad, I would be pulling those out as well. And then that'll allow our cleaning solution to get in here and get rid of all of that corrosion. So there you go, that's all stripped now. Do the other two legs, um, everything in there, ready for cleaning. Hot soapy water, just dishwashing liquid. Clean all your tubes. If they're really salty in that, just leave them in there for 15, 20 minutes, give them a good soak. So let them soak, just get a clean cloth uh, and just give them a good, good rinse off. Get all the salty, crusty, nasty stuff off. You get the idea, it's not that hard. Just wash it basically, and then rinse it in fresh water, dry it all. Um, now, let me show you how to clean this stuff when it's got corrosion on it. You're gonna love it. Okay, so I know this is probably starting to look like a cooking show, but believe me, it's not. So what happened was I cleaned everything in hot soapy water and there was lots of rust and corrosion, lots of that white stuff. Now, I thought that was just salt buildup, but some of it was, but what it actually was, was it was, it was corrosion. So the salt had got in there and started to corrode everything. So it was all looking pretty nasty, even after I'd given it a thorough clean. So I tried a whole heap of things and I finally come up with this, this home brew that worked an absolute treat. I could not believe how good it is. So here we go, we've got juice of a lemon. It's off my tree too. One tablespoon of bicarb soda. And do it in this order because when you put the when you put the uh, vinegar in, it all bubbles up. So you don't want to put that in, or well, you don't want to put that in last if your container's a bit small, it goes everywhere. So 500 mils, and I've found this ratio works fairly well. And you just want to mix up enough to cover everything. So it depends on, on uh, how much you're cleaning. But a bowl this size should work perfect. So you see what I mean by how it all bubbles up? So just give that a bit of a stir and then just throw all your bits in. Throw everything in, only needs 10, 10, 15 minutes. And believe me, this does an incredible job. Right, right, give that 10 minutes, rinse it off in fresh water, dry it and you're ready to reassemble. Okay, this is at about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna um, tip this out and just give it a wash off with clean water. Let's have a little look. So have a look at that, absolutely amazing. That looks brand new. It's got rid of all of that corrosion. Still a little bit pitted in here, but that's pitting. Once it pits, you can't really, you can't fix that, but it's certainly got rid of all of the white stuff. There's that bush that come out of that one that was covered in white corrosion. Now beautifully clean. Yeah, that stuff definitely works. So if your tripod is really bad and you got a lot of that white calcium um, oxidization buildup, this stuff will get rid of it. Now, another little tip for you, when you've got a heap of bits and pieces in here and you wanna tip it all out, tip it into the sink, um, I leave the plug in just in case, but tip it all, tip it in through a sieve, and then you can catch all the little bits and you don't lose anything. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, tip that out and give that a wash in fresh water. Okay, so we're ready to reassemble this leg. I've got everything laid out, it's all nice and clean, we're ready to go. I'm just going to reassemble this leg lock that we stripped down for cleaning, and then we'll put the legs back together. So to assemble a leg, just grab the, the upper section and then the next piece down. So we're working from the top down. So we grab our largest flip lock, just slide that on there. 
Now that should be nice and loose. Just put our sleeve back on. Now these are, with these plastic sleeves, they create a groove which actually locates in here. So there's a couple of grooves in here and it only goes one way. So it is slightly offset. So when you put it in, it should be nice and loose. If you've got it 180 out, it'll still actually go in, but it'll be very tight. So if you're putting them in and they're super tight, it'll be two things. You haven't got this located properly, it's not in flat, or you've got it 180 out. So just slide it in and then I've still got some markings on here from where I could see where the, the leg lock was before. So I'm just gonna line that up there and then we just tighten this one here up. If you haven't got these markings, you may wanna just make a little mark on here with a texter maybe that groove there you could just put a little texture mark on here to show you um, how to line that up that's the first one just lock him off grab the next section put our leg lock on and then the sleeve slide that one in now just line these up through here and then just tighten that top bolt Now you don't want to over tighten these either because you can crush it and these tubes are not that thick. And the leg lock itself, we can adjust that later, so don't be too concerned about that at this stage. Okay, last piece. Okay, last part is just to get this leg back onto here. So I've got all my bits, just make sure you've got your two screws, your pin and your four washers and you've identified the washers with the flats and then the round washers. Now the correct lubricant you want is silicon lubricant or silicon grease. If you're in Australia, I'll leave a link um, in the description below. I sell it on my website. So we just want a little smear on here and here. And the perfectly round washers go on there and it's a little recess so it'll just sit in there just sit those in there another little smear of grease on the outside of those washers you need a cloth just to keep your fingers clean and actually I've got to put a bit on the pin so just nice coating on the pin See if you can sit up there. Now for the tricky bit, just make sure that that little flip lock is up out of the way. And then we just got to slide it on. Now sometimes the washers want to come off, so just sort of sneak him on there. And then you just got to line it up. And of course, it's a little bit harder when you're doing a video because you can't see. There you go, just put that pin is gone in. Now we need to just find the flat, which I can see it there. So the flat's there, so just line the flat up. And then I'll just start that. And I had, there was still a bit of grease on that washer. Now with this particular model, this one's I found a little bit different to the W2204. So this one, you want to screw this first one all the way down and then just push him in. You've got plenty of grease on that side. Just put our washer on again. We can see where the flat is and that'll sit nice and flat in there. And then the screw in this side. And then we just need to tighten those two up. Let's tighten them, wipe off any excess grease. And that should be beautiful, look at that lovely stuff. Okay, that's it. We're done. 
Okay, so sorry, we're not quite finished yet. One more thing I wanna share with you. I know there's probably plenty of you thinking, can I spray anything on here to help protect it? Well, yes, there is. You can use a silicon spray. Now, don't use anything else. Don't use WD-40. Um, the problem with WD-40 is that it's just gonna wash off with, with water anyway. And the other thing is WD-40 is not compatible with plastics where this is. And a lot of the other ones that are just a, a lubricant are gonna leave this very oily and greasy and you will pick up dust and dirt in there. So what happens with a silicon spray is that this will actually dry to a thin clear film. So it'll help protect these um, metal parts in here. And if you spray some in on the cam locks themselves, it'll, it'll add a nice little protective um, and lubricant barrier in there to just help your cam locks work nicely. So there you go, if there's anything you want to spray on your tripod, the only thing I recommend is silicon spray. So look, the main thing here, the key thing to get you know, a good life out of your tripod is to keep them clean. So if you've been in salty environments or it's dirty, dusty, just give them a hose off, rinse it, get all of that stuff off. Um, if it's really bad, hot soapy water, give it a good scrub and then just use that silicon spray to you know, protect these mechanisms in here and I'm sure you'll get many, many years use out of your tripod. So there you go, that's another video done. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya, bye. Go onto your, Jesus. <laughs>